Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the how to specify URL mapping for handler method in Spring MVC framework. Right? So, this is a mandatory task you must do when coding a controller class which is designed for the handling one or more specific requests. Spring MVC provides the at the rate request mapping annotation which is used for specifying URL mapping right so in past few videos we have seen uh, we are continuously using at the rate request mapping annotation before the class name as well as before the request handler method name right so basically when you write at the rate request mapping and you specify value equal to something right that means you are specifying the URL over here that maps the URL pattern uh, to be handled by the annotated method or class uh, when this annotation is used at the class level the class becomes a single action controller for example you can see here at the rate request mapping I have used and here value equal to I have specified uh, slash right but here before the method name I have used at the, at the rate request mapping but I haven't specified any value equal to something right I have used uh, only what type of HTTP method is that that method attribute I have specified uh, you can specify this attribute here itself by separating the comma itself right so this is basically you have a uh, one controller one URL and single request handler method right now uh, next thing uh, next thing when when the at the rate request mapping annotation is used at the method level and you specify some URL you can have a multi action controller right so if you look into this example uh, by the way this pro uh, this project I had created in my previous videos and that is already available on the YouTube channel and uh, this project I have uploaded on the github this project you can download and you can run on your local computer and uh, this uh, in this video uh, this video is mostly related to re related this mode uh, this video is mostly rather practical we are just looking into the theoretical concept about the request mapping right so when request mapping annotation is used at the method level you can have a multi action controller right so here this class I have, I have annotated as at the rate controller and I have a three request handler method right and every request handler method I have annotated as at the rate uh, every uh, on uh, request handler method I have annotated as at the rate request mapping and every uh, request mapping annotation takes a value as an argument so URL pattern of this guy is slash list users for save users slash save users and for delete users slash delete users but if you look into here then here if you specify uh, like uh, here uh, if you specify some uh, URL pattern on the class level like uh, uh, you have a uh, this uh, suppose you specify some like home right and here also you specify some value value equal to slash home visit then now uh, we have specified uh, request mapping on class level as well as request me uh, method level and in both places I have a specified value attribute so your now your request handler method URI will be relative to the uh, your controller uh, URI right so complete URI of this method would be slash home slash home visit right so uh, every URL will be concatenated with the slash right so that's the concept I wanted to show you so just I'm going to undo for this 
okay and next thing i would like to share if the request hand the request uh, mapping annotation can be also used for the specifying the multiple url patterns to be handled by the single request handler method so if you look into the this annotation then in this annotation is having a lot of attributes right so we'll talk about the rest of the attributes in this video just i'm trying to focus on the uh, mainly uh, 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 mainly value attribute so you can see value attribute is it's, it's an array so you can specify the array of things right so what i will do well, let's create a one controller simple controller and i would say hello all control right and uh, this control class i am going to connect it as at the rate controller and here let's create a method public and return type i would give as model and view which we did in earlier projects model and view and here let's say method name is welcome and here this guy is going to return a uh, object of model and view so new uh, model and view is having a lot of constructor i'm going to use this one so here i'm going to use a logical view name so i would say welcome and uh, i would say model object a uh, welcome message which i will use on the ui to retrieve this message a message uh, just simply i'm going to specify hello world uh, this is not a uh, new thing so already we have seen this kind of concept in the previous videos and uh, here i'm going to specify request mapping request mapping annotation right and here value you can specify right so up up uh, till here we had created a lot of projects and we had specified the single value for this but i have shown you if you go inside the source code then you can see value is just an array right most of the attributes takes an as an array right so except name right most of the attributes takes an array so here you can specify more than one url right so you can say hello comma you can say many urls hi something like this right and so with slash separate with slash so why this guy is throwing an error slash hi this guy is crying missing quotes okay uh, there is some missing quotes i don't know what code is missing so let's try it out again value equals to you can have a curly bracket and here you can say hello slash hi right so again uh, after comma you can have a more uh, values for this url and even you can specify the method uh, what kind of method you want http method so you can say request sorry request method request method here you can so basically just i'm going to hit from the url itself i'm not going to design any form so you have a different kind of http method so uh, here i'm going to specify we'll talk about the rest of the method uh, when we'll go through the restful when we'll write rest controller right when we'll write restful web services then we'll use like uh, method like post put get and delete and all so as of now just i'm specifying the method still method as get and if i run this application then you can hit this request handler method by specifying slash hello or slash hi 
both URL will be taken. So so this project is getting deployed. And if you look into the controller, I want to. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, I was supposed to create a JSP page inside the view. So that part is missing. So let's create a view page. So I would say JSP and welcome.jsp and in this JSP I'm going to display a message in size h1 and I'm going to use uh, JSP express a language for this and this is the key to display this message right so this is a model name that I'm going to use on this view and let's run this application And you will have to hit by slash hello and slash hi in both cases you will get the same output so here I'm going to specify hi. this output basically I'm getting from the home page uh, now if you place this so you are getting the uh, hello world and if I hit on the external browser and URL with hi so here HTTP is a protocol local host is your machine name it's 8080 your tomcat port number and this is your root context or your project name after that whatever you are getting that is the URL of your controller method right yes and you are getting the same output that means uh, if uh, in request handler method if you are using at the rate request mapping then you can specify the more than one URL uh, for the single request handler method so that's all i wanted to show you this video tutorial this code i'm not going to push on the github uh, so basically here mostly we have discussed about the theoretical concept nothing more practical right so i hope you understood and uh, you try to create uh, a spring mvc to explore this concept yourself so thanks for watching this video and uh, see you next video tutorial